February 3, 1976 at 8 a.m., five Somali terrorists hijacked a French school bus and demanded the release of all detained FLC personnel. French government agrees to independence of Somali territory if there is no reply within 36 hours. They are going to kill all hostages. This incident also aroused great controversy later. The film is based on this incident. A small school bus is going to the each student's house to pick up them as usual. Everything is normal. Children go to school happily. The teacher also comes to school early. Suddenly, just when the school bus stops in front of a student's house, several terrorists rush into the car, try to control the driver. For the safety of himself and the children, driver has to do what they ask, a school bus of 31 people, including the driver, are hijacked and head to the border. The students in the bus don't know what to do, they can only bow their heads in fear. At this time, a kid is so scared and tell the terrorists that he wants to go home, but the terrorist slaps him <laughs> on the face. <laughs> the student's face is bleeding from the beating, dare not speak out. At this time, after the military people get the news, two cars are also sent to give chase, Face the pursuers, terrorists aren't scared at all, he also tells the driver to speed up, and at the same time shoot directly at the military vehicle, then the military personnel do not dare to approach, only can keep a distance from and follow it, after the border guards get the news, immediately close the border, and spread the spiked belt on the road, the school bus is forced to stop at the border, since it is right in the middle of the border between Somalia and France, the militaries of both sides dare not act rashly, because a little carelessness can lead to war, but it also gives terrorists an opportunity. The leader of terrorists forces the driver to get out of the car, and asks him to take the word back to the French border, if they act rashly, will directly execute the hostages, then they are at a stalemate. A captain named André is accompanying his daughter to do a small surgery in a hospital, a nurse comes in to remind him that he has a phone call, André's expression indicates that this is serious, then André meets the head of the National Security Bureau. Madame tells André about the hijacking incident, the terrorist's condition is Somalia's independence, and the release of some political prisoners. Meanwhile, since the three children in the car are Americans, so the United States will also send military advisors. Under pressure, a general is also sent directly to the scene to command, but now at the border, no one dares to act rashly. After discussion, they find André and prepare him to go out with his squad disguised as civilians. This will not attract the attention of the media, and if something uncontrollable happens, they also have some rhetoric to deal with the public. This side of the French border, a car suddenly drives by, a woman gets out of the car, she is the children's teacher, she wants to go in the school bus to appease the students, but the officer does not agree with her to go, because this is likely to cause the terrorist irritated. At this time, the general of the military also drives to the scene, so when the officer is busy, the teacher sneaks out, the terrorist in the bus also see her coming, so he gets out of the bus with a hostage, obviously the terrorist doesn't want the teacher to get close, the terrorist forces the teacher to go back, but the teacher tells him, now the French army is fully armed, now there are no adults in the bus that the children are familiar with, if they want to achieve operational success, then have to make sure that the children don't get emotionally out of control, and the teacher is the best person to appease them, finally, the terrorist is persuaded by the teacher, he allows the teacher to get on the bus, and another reason why this teacher insists to do so, is his own kid is also in the bus, now Andre's sniper team has also disembarked, and meet the military advisor from the United States, a group of six come to the border after traveling by car, because their dress is too amateur, they are also disliked by the general and others, but they don't know that this sniper team, is the main force of this operation, after observing in the command room for a while, the general says there are total for terrorists, but now it looks like they have support in Somalia, and because they have free access to the Somali border, so it's hard to determine how many they have in total, to find out the situation, Andre asks the snipers to come to the roof to observe, and he takes advantage of the night to cross the border, but now what they see is all planes, there is absolutely no place to act as a sniper, in order to obtain favorable conditions, Andre sneaks to the back of the bus, but when he arrives, he almost meets with a terrorist. Just when he is about to find a favorable sniping position, a terrorist suddenly takes the teacher out of the bus, looks like she wants to come out, and goes to the toilet. At this time, the teacher also sees Andre behind the bus. Andre also uses his eyes to tell her not to act rashly. After the teacher goes back, Andre is starting to observe again. Unexpectedly, at this time, Somalia's side turns on the searchlight. Andre has no choice but to run back, because if found, he must be shot to dead. Meanwhile, the searchlights are also turned on on the French side. But luckily the terrorists don't shoot Andre. But this stupid behavior of the military also makes the sniper team very angry. So they have a skirmish with the military, after Andre, who was lucky enough to escape, comes back. He also says he found a sniper spot, and ready to start tomorrow. With the consent of the general, Andre makes a plan with the team. The action begins at 5 p.m., they set up a sniper post in the center of the border between Somalia and France, that is, directly opposite the school bus. 
this operation may only have one shot, so must ensure weapons and equipment are ready. Meanwhile, they need to assign their respective roles, each person corresponds to a terrorist. When the time comes Andre gives the order, they shoot and kill the terrorists at the same time, success or failure depends on this shot, time is coming soon, early the next morning. The team pass the detour, slipping out of France by cutting the border fence in France, then go around to the sniper point, through the cover of the slope, after coming, everyone quickly finds a suitable sniper position, under Andre's assignment. The other four have each found their own goals, after setting goals, need to confirm again that the goal can be shot to death, this confirmation is the most difficult, because there are so many people on the bus. They cannot guarantee that the location of the personnel is fixed, that's why it's extremely difficult to snipe the terrorists, confirmed in several rounds, only then can they confirm their goals as they wish, then Andre calls to the command room, but the general tells them to stand still, Andre has no choice but to tell them to rest first, because according to the latest order from the superior, they need to wait until there are no terrorists on the bus before they can shoot. The superiors think that shooting when there are terrorists in the car is threatening the lives of the children, so the superior is going to let the sniper team stand still, let the negotiators do the work first. Although team think this is extremely stupid behavior, after all order is order, the team have no choice but to follow. Over there in Somalia, the military also drive three pickup trucks and carry to MG4 to machine guns. There are more than 60 troops, wait until the afternoon, command just only calls, they say negotiator goes to the school bus now, and brings water to the children, they don't even know there are reinforcements from Somalia, after the negotiator arrives, he wants the terrorists to release the injured child first, it's just for safety reason, but the terrorists don't care about it, hear that the hostage is being taken, they immediately put their guns on his head, seeing this, the sniper team quickly take aim, and stand by, at this time, the teacher also says to let the child go first, next she also has a gun on her head, negotiator is still asking to take the kid, but how could the terrorist let him do it, negotiation fails, they could only bring back the body of the negotiator, although Andre is angry, there is no other ways, because now they can't guarantee that they can kill the terrorists, after waiting for a while, two more terrorists are coming, the teacher comes out to tell the leader of the terrorists, now this kid he hit is getting worse, even wound infection, she asks could go and brings him some medication, the naive idea is quickly laughed at, at this time, the two terrorists came and tell the leader, the reinforcements will be back soon, and the bus will come, to pick up all the kids, Andre saw that the terrorists have reinforcements, so let others temporarily take command, he goes back to the command room, after come back, the general also tells him, now they are going to write to the Ramani family, hoping to redeem the child with money, this childish behavior makes Andre speechless again, because now it's very obvious, terrorists don't want money, their goal is, just making Somalia independent, but the general doesn't listen to him at all, reluctantly, Andre has no choice but to say that they now lack a sniper, the US military advisor has carried out three missions in Vietnam, so he wants him in his team, at this moment, the teacher comes back with the injured child, no one knows how she convinced the terrorists, but it doesn't matter, because the child comes back safely, the teacher also tells about distribution of weapons, by the terrorists and they're preparing to retreat with children, Andre also says, they're going to put sleeping pills in the children's water while it's being delivered, so that after the children fall asleep, the chances of sniping, will be much higher, the teacher also send water with sleeping pills, after seeing them all drink the water, the sniper teams begin to redistribute their targets again, the quietness of the children this time also makes it very easy for them to confirm the target, after a while, the children in the bus are all asleep, it's time for the sniper team to move, however, there is a call from command room, saying action cancelled, because now the superior says, now Somalia has assembled a lot of troops, if they shoot, that is to go to war directly with Somalia, but looking at the terrorist support bus has come to the border, if wait any longer, the kids may never come back, Andre takes off the earphones without any thought, because he has decided to direct disobedience, then he starts a conversation with the team, because now they disobey, rescue missions are no longer official, and probably, after the shooting, they have to face the attack of the Somali army, in such circumstances, everyone in the team doesn't say much, they just quietly pick up their sniper rifles and prepare to shoot, the US advisor also does the same, very precise, hit all, now the Somali side also start to move after hearing the gunshots, but they don't know where the sniper position is, then the teacher also hurriedly wakes up the children to prepare to retreat, but the terrorist not on the bus also runs towards the bus, when he sees his companion was shot dead, he wants to shoot, but how can he do this? This gunshot also directly exposes the location of the sniper, Under massive firepower, it's hard for the squad to get up and fight back, 
but hiding like this is the only way to die, for the safety of themselves and the children. They can only take risks and fight back. As the fighting intensifies, the squad knows their purpose is not to fight, but to save the children, so when their firepower is a little weaker, they use alternating cover and move towards the bus, at the same time, the teacher in the bus also picks up the gun and fights back. <laughs> With the continuous approach of the Somalia army, they just throw a grenade into the bus. After the explosion, team begin to retreat. At this time, the US advisor also drives a truck to pick up the children, but he is shot in the shoulder on the way to. Seeing this, Andre also immediately shows a wave of blind snipers. At last rescued by the French army, they evacuate all the children, but when everyone breaths a sigh of relief, a sniper suddenly finds a child lying in a pool of blood, and this child is the teacher's daughter, then when they go back to the border, those soldiers who look down on them before also salute Andre. Although the children successfully return to reunite with their parents, these victims and their families have never been recognized as victims of terrorism, they are still suffering the traumatic aftermath of the event to this day.